Hi folks, today I want to show you how to import Blender anim uh, camera animation to Unreal Engine. Uh, first of all, let's get rid of our cube and lamp and camera and let's import some asset that I uh, made earlier that has three axes, Z, X and Y and different colors. It's uh, important uh, to know that uh, all our uh, cameras and assets are imported to Unreal in a good orientation. Uh, Blender and Unreal have different orientations because Blender has this kind of orientation and Unreal has got Y to the left because it's, y, uh, it's X forward. So uh, there are some mismatches in normal importing cam uh, camera without any conver conversion. Uh, so let's get to work. Let's create our camera. Let's rotate it 90 degrees, make it orthographic view. Wait a second, I gave my screencast case and let's move it that way. Okay, now let's make location rotation and let's make a key here. Let's uh, make 240 frames, home, let's go to 120 frame, G, and uh -huh, G, and rotate, and apply it, and let's go to the end, G, and rotate, and apply it. Let's look through our camera, go to the start of our animation, let's play it. Okay, it goes like that. Not bad, but we need to move it a little up. Let's update this key. Let's go to the second key. Also, let's make this kind of rotation update and to the end and maybe like that update. Okay, so now we will see it almost all the time. It would be better to control. Okay, so that's our camera. Let's go to the frame one. And uh, we cannot export it just like that uh, because uh, Unreal will uh, rotate it in some really weird way and it will not be pointing to this. So first of all, let's export our asset. So it's a file, export as FBX, and let's go. I will make a new folder and call it Axis. And I will choose uh, my preset for exporting, which is X forward, Z app, no camera, no lamps, only selected objects, and export FBX. And now let's import it. Import and it's uh, wait a while, it's I've been testing this long time. So we get tutorial, access of bags, and open it. Now, a very important thing we need this converse scene to be, uh, to be enabled, or all our work will be uh, no good. So, import, it important our axis and materials, let's put it to the scene, let's uh, zero coordinates, okay, here we are. Let's get back to Blender. Now, to properly convert camera, we need to rotate it 90 degrees uh, in the uh, scene orientation. So let's make an empty. Our cursor is in the center. Let's make an empty plane axis. Let's duplicate this camera and right click to not change its location. Shift, right click, empty, parent object, and now rotate empty in Z axis minus 90 degrees. Okay, so now we have two cameras. We also cannot export this camera because it's 
parented to empty and Unreal doesn't understand that. So we need to make another camera and uh, constrain it, Tra copy transforms of this camera, uh, of the camera one to this, our exported camera, and uh, we will name it cam export. So now we've got our cam original with our wait a second with our axis animated the second cam with all these axes animated but uh, rotated with empty and the third cam cam export without animation so now when I have cam export selected I shift and right click to select the cam that is parented I press Ctrl L to link animation data and now I can select again my cam export and it has all this animation file export FBX now I choose camera selected objects let it be cam X Z OK export FBX now let's get back to Unreal we cannot import camera just into the scene we need to import it to matinee so let's go to matinee and file import cam FBX OK and create camera now let's see if our camera is in the scene and it, it is it look good I will put matinee to the other screen and let's see yes our camera is here is pointing to the right direction and when I will wait a second I make it smaller and when I will drag here we can see that our animation looks quite correct but it's not correct to the frame we need to close our matinee press cinematics again choose matinee actor and now convert it to level sequence sequencer is the latest addition to uh, unreal and it really works better than matinee but it cannot import cameras so we needed uh, need to uh, make this step okay let's save it and now in our sequencer we've got our camera and we've got our transform and uh, all the frames but we get here 30 frames per second and in blender we've got in our render settings film 24 frames per second so we just need to change it in unreal and let's see through this camera and go the frame I guess maybe 2020 okay one uh, sorry 130 130 and uh, let's make a screenshot high resolution screenshot two times because uh, we are working in half of HD resolution take a screenshot good I will open this folder it's uh, it open it on the other monitor yeah. okay let's go back to blender uh, and go to the frame I will enable show frame number indicator uh, it in Unreal we were in 130 so in blender we need be, uh, to be in uh, 131 because blender counts from frame 1 and Unreal counts from frame zero so now let's look through our camera let's make simple render well maybe I will just increase my resolution to HD yeah and let's save it so it's blender let's uh, go now to Photoshop and I will drag Unreal screenshot and I will drag also 
Blender screenshot. And now let's check opacity. Well, perfect. Frame to frame, pixel to pixel, we've got our camera in Unreal that works in Blender. The next step would be, of course, to come to Unreal to make some cut, camera cut track, and to choose our camera free. And now we can export this video as image sequence or as video sequence uh, with current frame rate, with resolution, HD resolution. And uh, if you want, also you can use some custom render passes, but that's another story. So that's the way uh, you import a camera from Blender to Unreal. Thank you.